Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival with Lone Debater 7. So, we came back to the capital vessel. Um, I went ahead and got the stuff that we needed. So, we bought these growing plots, right? Unfortunately, these are only placeable on the base. Um, so, I had to actually build the ones that you can place on the capital vessel. Not too difficult, necessarily. If you go to the blocks, switch to capital vessel, there's growing plot steel. Um, that you can build, or at least I can build, I don't know what you need to unlock that. It takes four plant fibers, one nutrient solution, five steel plate, and one cobalt alloy. The only tricky part about that is the nutrient solution, which does have to be made in the food processor. As you can see, a nutrient solution takes four stone dust, five purified water, and one spoiled food. So if I click this, it'll go ahead and make the water and the food for us and give us our nutrient solution. I made a bunch of them just so we're ready to go um, and everything like that. So as you can see, we now have some spoiled food in there. We have some water in there, which is great. It should actually open up a couple of recipes for us. So we could make cheese because we brought back some milk. Uh, we have some meat. What are these missing? Spice. So we've planted spice. So we'll be able to make this canned items um, once we harvest that, so that's cool. Uh, or we could make a dino stew. Nice. That we can't make yet. Or, well, we be able to make salami and ham. So, basically, once we get spice, it looks like we're going to be able to make pretty much everything. Uh, fruit juice, we probably... We won't be able to make these unless we change our crops. Um, this, same thing... We could make we could make pizza, cool. We could make a meat burger. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do the pie as of right now, but all in all, pretty cool. Um, if you think that it looks a little bit different inside of our capital vessel or a little bit brighter, you are right. I did in order to turn on the, those grow lights, have to switch lights from you know mid tier to full tier, so it would turn on these grow lights. But we've got all this stuff going. Um, we'll just go through real quick. So we've got two spice, two eggplants, two corns, two wheat, one alien honey, and one AV hacks plant. Uh, so that's what we're growing at the moment. Um, I'm just taking a look. Ammo-wise, we're doing okay, I guess. I think I will take these explosives, though, because I kind of want to go set up that uh, Pentaxid auto mining base. Um, with that being said, I did bring back those two mining cores, if you remember from last time. So if I go into devices, I can actually build these auto miners. So the way it works, you can build T1 at level 50, at level 12, rather. Um, it takes an auto miner core, which we've got right here. You have to buy those. They're like uh, between eight and 15,000, I believe. It's like 12, something like that. I can't remember. So you build one of the, you go buy one of those from the Polaris trading station. Then you craft it with capacitors, hardened steel plates, motors, and flux coils to get the first tier. You upgrade the first tier to T2. Um, with capacitors, zarcosium, and power coils, and you upgrade to T3 with more zarcosium, more capacitors, and more power coils. Now, the difference between the tiers, we're going to make the tier 3 because we can, and we've got the resources for it. The different tiers are going to determine how fast it actually generates the resources for you. So, tier 1's the slowest, and tier 3 is the fastest, obviously. Um, so, if you're trying to have the most resource output in the least amount of time, you want to go ahead and get a T3 set up pretty fast. Uh, anyhow, let's see. I'm just kind of taking a look, make sure everything's doing all right. I'm going to put in some fuel would be good. Oh, I did notice that we have like no uh, power time on our ship. Like our ship has no fuel capacity anymore. So what I want to do is build another fuel tank. Actually, I'm going to build two more fuel tanks 
and I'm gonna build an extra generator and see if that helps alleviate the problem because I'll put in like four or five Promethium, large Promethium packs I might add uh, to our ship, you know, and that only gives us like 12 minutes worth of fuel, which seems a little bit wrong. I mean, yeah, we've got a fair amount of thrusters, but we don't have like super massive thrusters or anything. And I'm pretty sure we had like three hours worth of flight time before. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna try adding these in, and hopefully that will uh, you know expand our capacity. So with that, it takes it up a little bit. Go get the other one. Should be done. Cool. We'll get the generator in a second. I'm just placing these onto the template. Nice and kind of tucked away behind where the guns are. So this side already has a bunch of stuff. That's where our fridge and cargo box is. So I guess we'll put the generators on this side. And that actually looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Kind of have that right across. I like that. Um, okay. So that increased our fuel capacity. Now way more fuel. Took five fusion cells to fill that up, just so we're kind of keeping track anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the other generator and see how that does for the ship. So this, I want underneath, I believe. Because we always access that ammo box from inside the ship anyway. So let's just take a look at the stats, make sure everything's still okay. So we're still good on the CPU usage under tier 3. Um, that's great. Let's see. Fuel's up. Our power output is up to 5.4 thousand, so we can output a lot of power, that's for sure. And we're only using 144. So if we look at this now, just parked here, we're not 948. I just want to see what it is so all right about three hours that's fair like that's a reasonable amount of fuel i just was you know kind of disappointed you only have 11 minutes worth of fuel and then you have to you know spend seven large promethium fuel packs to refill it's kind of like what the hell that is a lot of fuel burn for a ship that's not necessarily that complex you know all things considered anyway guys so that seemed to have worked if I, I guess if you're having troubles with fuel burn add an extra generator add some extra fuel tanks uh, top those bad mamma jammas off and you will solve your problem apparently so let's see if we can fly it back into the port here we got it awesome i don't know I, i'm pretty sure i've got the game sound turned on now let me know in the comments if you like that if you want me to go back to the way it was where we didn't have it what have you uh just shout out down in the comments below and i'll do my best to accommodate uh with that being said now that our ship's upgraded now that we've got our uh crops growing we're kind of I, i'm not sure exactly what i want to do next I mean, we could take a look at trying to go to another star system. That probably is the next big thing for us to do. If we take a look at the planetary map here, we did unlock this new planet, uh, Calray. Um, so if we look planet re-info, it's a alien planet, apparently. I, I mean, aren't any of them Batekia alien? Any, whatever that's fine um so if we go over here let's see so it looks like the moon is kind of like a lava world this one doesn't have a description so whatever that's fine we also could go to the Rheinfell system we haven't been to yet uh, that might be kind of fun that's an arid world and there is this little station here which i don't know what those do i'm assuming that's kind of like a trading post of some sort but anyway if we want to go to star systems we have to go back to rontant and then we have our choice between the zemp 
and the Lathene, uh, you know, over 350 for each one, so pretty far away. 